everyone, and welcome back to my version of Decked Out. Last episode, we fully completed level one with building and redstoning all of the cards that is playable. So all of level one is fully playable, meaning it is time to finally move on to some newer stuff. So as you can see, I went ahead and did a quick time lapse of me just building the map, the redstone not done but i'm gonna be working on that in a second but the map is fully completed also fully unspawnable which is nice um i didn't surprisingly spruce buttons don't show up on the map but they stop spawning so that is amazing as you can see it is it is massive um also as you can see due to my expert planning uh the entire map fits inside of this let me explain a bit about the map actually before that Let's actually show what it looks like in your hand because that is that is where it's important. Um, it looks definitely different when you're looking at it like this. So this is what it looks like in the hand. It looks a lot better in the hand. And I'm so happy with how it came out. Fully designed by me. So yeah, let me go ahead and go through what is happening on the map. Obviously, there's treasure right here. This is the treasure. Um, whenever you get a treasure queued up in the system, it'll come and queue up these 14 spots. And the same thing for hazard block and the same thing for clank block. So those are all the same. I changed the logos a little bit. Uh, basically, Shrieker represents clank. Uh, hazard equals, I don't know, I just did a barrier block. I thought it made sense. And treasure obviously is just the gold bar because it works. Also, I love how this logo came out, but I have chosen on a name for my own dungeon. Right now there's like the decked out and I think he called it the frozen citadel. Now I, I called mine decked out the golden lab because that is lore that uh, will be in level two that you guys do not get to see yet. I really wanted it to be like a movie series kind of thing, like where you put, keep decked out. And then you put like a, a, a separate title at the end to make it its own. So basically my dungeon is the golden lab, but decked out is the main game. You know what? I'm, I'm probably explaining this terribly. So yeah, I chose the golden lab because my currency is gold on like uh, Tango's frost embers and stuff. Um, so it makes more sense to call it gold. And uh, the lab part is a later feature. I just realized somebody could just come up here and press a button and ruin this. And actually, would it? It would fall down into water, so it actually wouldn't be that bad. Down here is the only part that's really different from Tango's. I do plan, spoiler alert, of having a willy on my map on level two, just, just like Tango's, uh, because level three is going to have warden, so level two is the only spot for willy and since as you we figured out during tango's run of decked out that uh, willy changes his mechanics if it's day or nighttime so if it's daytime he will not throw his trident out of the water to hit you and if it's nighttime he will so i wanted to put a cool little symbol showing if it's daytime or nighttime so you can plan around willy a little bit better so this is the day sign and then this is the night symbol obviously this is hard to tell because it's not up right now but and then over here is the reshuffle symbol so when you have reshuffle activated it will send a signal up here and then when reshuffle is over it'll go back down and then over here is the card counter it took me forever to figure out this redstone uh, because it's very different from the other ones it's complicated compared to redstone basically but i figured it out so yeah that is the map fully done uh, other than redstone, which I'm going to be doing in a second. Uh, I hope you guys dig the design. I think it's a, I don't want to <laughs> be that guy, but I think it's a lot better than Tango's design of the map. I think he really rushed the map and he didn't want to redo it. I think it looks a lot better with a full background instead of it being that ugly blue. I really wish I could remove this blue, but there, it's just can't happen. I could maybe do lava. I'm actually curious now. So I'm not going to lie, lava looks pretty cool, but we have to test the redstone real quick. Hold on. Okay, so the one up. It would work. It would totally freaking work. And lava is so much cooler than the water. Oh, I might have to be right back. Oh, this is going to be out. Oh, this is going to be really hard. <sighs> Sometimes I hate my decisions. 
I'll be right back. I'm going to go change everything to lava. All right. I am back and the lava is back in. Now, I have to be careful up here now uh, to make sure I don't go swimming by accident. Uh, also, it was terrifying placing lava over this TNT. I had to Google if it was going to go off. Scary, scary stuff. There's only two symbols that do have a problem, and that is the moon and the sun. Now, if I didn't even tell you about the problem, the sun still looks good. Obviously, you can't see the moon right now, um, but basically the moon and the sun were too large for the lava to fully flow over it. So I had to dig it down like this. Um, so it adds a little bit of a shadow on the sun, which then you get this effect. And I still think it looks good. I think the lava is a bigger positive change than the little line across the sun. Uh, so I'm not really worried about it. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. So I think it's time to finally get into the redstone because like I said, it's not that bad. It's just placing a lot of observers, a lot of sticky pistons, and then building up the system to count basically. And then we're going to have to connect it to treasure hazard black and clank block, which is super exciting. I'm going to go ahead and start on the boring redstone and I'll come back when it's time to do some fun crazy redstone compared to redstone that i do not fully understand all right so i'll be back all right everyone boing redstone is done as in a buttload of observers and a buttload of sticky pistons but everything is pushable and ready to go that means i just have to make the systems to actually organize them and uh cue them so right now it is down so if i do that it'll go up i just noticed i don't have any sound on i would think i was at the picklin farm so it goes up and then when we chop it, go ahead and do that. And it goes back down. It does take a bit to fully come back, but that is okay. I don't think it's that big a deal. I think that is the biggest flaw about the lava is that it takes forever to come back in. All right. So it's time to do some redstone. First up, I'm just going to do the daylight moon sun because that is the easiest redstone there is here. You come out here, do that. Right now, the sun is up. Since it's nighttime, it should be down. So the moon should be in the up position right now. So we got to do that, which is going to bring it up. Like so. And then we got to do that, which will bring it down. And then we have to do that, which will bring it back up. There we go. So it is in the right orientation right now. And if we go ahead and we sleep, it should turn into the sun. Um, it should have turned into the sun. Oh. It turned into the sun. And then the moon disappears. Perfect. Um, it is slow because I changed it to lava. But I don't think it's that big a deal. So the daylight and that is working. The reshuffle is working. Just got to hook it up to reshuffle. The treasure, hazard block, claim block, and cards is the only thing that needs to be really redstone. All right. With that, the first block is placed. All right. So the first little part of this is set up. Generating hazard is going to be up. Wait, what am I doing? generating clank block is going to be up here so this means we this line down here means that we have tripped a shrieker meaning it's going to come up here and trigger this there is no clank block in the system it won't do anything basically and this whole system just drops over an item it reads it and then it returns it and lets off this torch which then does a bunch of stuff this is the game online which will come up here and turn this on and when it turns off it'll completely recycle the system which then will wipe the map back to the original state oh, wait hold on it's turning nighttime it's turning nighttime and there it goes it turned nighttime and the moon came out and the sun went away that is awesome all right so update uh, time over here is basically the system that reads how strong the pulse needs to be. Basically, it's a comparator magic trick where the comparator gets stronger and stronger and stronger. So perfectly balanced. So it gets strong up to here on the first one, and then it gets stronger and goes to here, stronger to here, stronger to here, and so on. Um, and this barrel, basically sword will come down when it gets activated and uh, a sword will collect here and then go over and blah. And then when this fires, which is uh, basically update this torch, which then will allow the item to flow down here into this dropper. This dropper will send a signal out here, which then will push up the sticky piston, which then will hit that. And then we'll hit a chain reaction, which is just the dropper line going straight up. 
going back into the system basically so and with that the system is done other than this line over here which will be connecting to the machines to push them up uh, but this whole machine is done as i said this uh this will just be a dropper line that goes up here and restores the swords these are all gonna be swords of course i forgot to make a thousand swords so i'm gonna have to go do that i also forgot i need a chest boat right here so the chest boat sits on top of there covering all of the hoppers and this line is the clank block added line so the clank block added line comes here it hits this uh does the dropper thing for the queuing system uh then it goes around and refreshes it basically then it hits these droppers these droppers will have swords in it and uh will come over here and go into the chest boat the chest boat will collect them and then it will come down here and collect in this system here and the line is now done i have not hooked it up because it will get it out of sync other than the swords and chest boat which i'm gonna go get right now so we can fully finish this section all right a lot of stroker boxes of swords because i'm going to need a lot for the cards counter too far too far back it up back it up all right with the sword and bow added everything for this should be up and running um since these redstone torch is on meaning the game is on we can go ahead and push this button and it should go right there i'm gonna push this button and hope that it goes and does perfectly oh perfectly like that so if we do it again the next one should be active which it is perfect and then it continues we'll do it one more time perfect so it does seem to be fully working which is super exciting uh, okay so now i'm gonna spam this so everything should be turned on and the reason why we had to do that was to sync up the uh observers so since it is on it should be up and when we put a redstone there it'll go up so now it all is synced up perfectly Oh, it looks so good, too. I love how that looks. All right, so Clank Block is fully up. This is if we hit a Shrieker, as I mentioned. So if we go ahead and do this, the last one should be taken out. Uh, let's try it again. Aha, aha. See? I knew I forgot something. Okay, there it goes. That time it got taken out. Yep, okay, that one got taken out now. Let's do it one more time and perfect and now if we come over here and just turn off the game everything should get taken out just like so perfect so the system is fully up and operationable um now i just have to repeat that for hazard and for treasure right now i think i'm going to work on the scary task of doing the card counter now i want to emphasize i'm actually going to put this map away it's annoying me a little bit <laughs> now i want to emphasize i am not yeah i don't know how this redstone works the other one i have a decent grasp of what it's doing and this one i'm just as soon as you add subtraction mode into the equation nope i am done and you will have lost me and this has a lot of subtraction so although i would love to explain it to you guys no i i i honestly i'm not 100 percent sure on how this one works so honestly uh for the main juicy part of this i'm just gonna cut to when i'm done with it because um like i said it's just confusing and i'm just gonna be following the schematic to make sure i don't mess anything up so i'll be back all right everyone complicated redstone over uh we got this thingy of thingies it doesn't look that crazy but if you really look into this madness um uh, like just this section right here so we got a comparator going into a redstone this comparator is going into this redstone which is blocking this comp which is hitting this comparator this comparator is going into this barrel which is hitting this line which is coming over here and then these barrels down here this barrel is going into this comparator which is hitting this redstone but this barrel is also hitting this comparator which is hitting this comparator which is being powered by a redstone block redstone reparator which is being powered by this line which is coming from here which is coming from a separate comparator from a completely different area yeah I don't get it. Also, these barrels have a full of swords and just random ornaments of, I don't know. Okay, but it works, right? This is the card counter line. So when a card comes through, it will do that, which then will activate this repeater, which would go over there. The next one, it will be two. You have two cards on your deck right now. And then if you do it again, you got three cards in your deck, four cards and five cards. Perfect. 
I've actually not been able to test all of these, so I'm just going to quickly run through them all, make sure they're all working. And it is fully up and working, which is fantastic. Everything is lit up perfectly as it should be. Now, if we come over here, this is the card has gone through and went into the barrel at the end of the game line. So when we press that, um, I did press it okay so it doesn't matter uh, but I pressed it once and it went down once and I did it again and it should go down two with that repeater and then three and so on uh, since I'm too impatient to press it 40 times we will just do that and as you can see it will start ticking down so that is the entire counting system up and running. Now I just have to connect it to the observers. All right, so I think I'm just going to go in and do a quick time lapse of me creating this uh, connecting because um, let's be real, it's a little boring to watch and I kind of just wanted to be done so we can move on to something else in this video. All right, so I will be back. <laughs> All right, everyone, I am back and all the rails and stuff should be in place and ready to go. All right, I moved the button up here so we can see it on the map. Uh, where did I put my map though? So we got the map in the hand and we got the button right here. So this should just go down and activate it, hopefully. And it should go up one card. So we have a one card deck right now. Perfect. Let's go up again. We got two. Let's go again. Three. And number 10 should be a red. I'm going to have to change that. It worked better when the it was blue. Um, because red is the opposite of blue. So I should change it to blue now since blue. Yeah. Uh, but basically, I changed that to TNT to basically mark the 10th card. But you can't tell. All right. Uh, I'll go ahead and fix that in a bit. Right. I'm going to go ahead and count the rest up to make sure all of them are working. All right. So I went ahead and counted up all of the cards. And it all seems to work. I also grabbed some packed ice so we can go ahead and go in and switch it out. See if these are better. All right. How's that looking? Much better. You can clearly tell. All right. The blue ice is in or packed ice is in i think that looks a lot better it clearly stands out from the red now so now we go down here we won't be able to see the map update but that's fine and it should start going down perfect all of the redstone for programming the counting cards is done the sun and moon switching is done the shuffle is done clank block is done i have to do hazard block and treasure which it's just the same as this. It really took me 30 minutes to do that. So about an hour in total of that. And then I have to connect everything to the correct systems and double check that I connected everything to the right system. Um, and then that's it. The, the map should be fully working. Thing I didn't talk about before, as I mentioned way back, one of the problems with my design of the map is that you will see your cursor on the map while you're in the dungeon. I really didn't want to have focus on mo using mods to be able to play by yourself in this version of Decked Out. And without mods, you cannot load a separate map that you're not inside of without mods. The carpet mod is best example because chunk loaders don't work. So my idea was to build my dungeon inside of a map radius. The map will be loaded because you're in the map location. The only problem is you do see yourself on the map and it's it doesn't help you at all. It just can be maybe annoying. I don't find it annoying at all when I'm running around. I test it a little bit in my creative world. It doesn't really bother me, but I can see how somebody could be bothered by that. Now I could try to look into if I want to add to my world to remove the cursor from the map. Um, I think it's probably a resource pack or something. I really don't want to do that though. And I think honestly, you're just going to have to suck it up. It's so small and I think it's kind of funny seeing yourself running around. It may, it's a little immersion breaking, I guess. That is the biggest problem with it it breaks your immersion because you're like oh i'm right there on the map <laughs> um but there's nothing i could do about it unless i look into it maybe if it's a if it's a texture pack i'm 100 percent okay with doing it um but i don't think it is i think it's something else like uh, a resource pack or something like that so oh it's turning nighttime <laughs> that's really my thoughts on that 
let me know what you think. Do you really think it's going to be a, a, a big issue for you if you play my game that your cursor is on the map? Um, if you do, do you have any easy solutions? Um, yeah, just let me know. I'm curious. All right. Well, I'm going to be back. I'm going to go ahead and work on finishing this up, this up. And honestly, I'm just going to connect everything because I got to move on. We got to move on. I'll be back when it's ready to be played. I am yet again scared. So I have fully redstone everything, tested everything, and hopefully it'll work. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I just forget something. Uh, but let's take a look. So the redstone looks crazy. <laughs> Sadly, going so vertical, there is no like quick way to go vertical with redstone, which is a flaw that I didn't think about. So the redstone to get to the system is a little delayed. It's delayed by like four seconds. It would have been longer if I didn't take the time to make instant power lines, basically, where it just instantly comes over here when it gets up top. It is a bit delayed and I, I'm really happy that everything is working, but I'm not the biggest fan of the delay. And sadly, I don't see a solution for it. Now, if you're thinking I could do this for the redstone, instead of the observer towers. Uh, the problem with that is to get the sticky piston to go up and down while still sticking with the slime blocks, you need a tick of two on a repeater. Um, and if I'm using observers to spam it in and without the two tick repeater, the sticky piston line will not work, which means that is not a viable option. This is shuffle. So it works with that one because it's on and then off with a delay in between. And this is the game online. So, so hey, if you guys know a better solution for a going up tower for a observer speed tick, let me know because uh, this is the best solution I've got. But yeah, all the redstone is in place. Everything is working uh, seemingly. I say seemingly because I have actually not run a game yet with the map. I've done a lot. I've changed a bunch of stuff with music discs that you probably will be hearing once we start. And I'm just hoping that uh, everything works. So I was talking to uh, Lance, if you don't know who that is, uh, here you go, and he made me realize I was stupid. I, I read a comment stating that I should change my cards from the books to written books so I can write what it is inside of the books. Genius idea. You know, I thought it was a great idea, but then when I looked into it, you cannot stack written books. But Lance made me realize and point out that I'm an idiot and that you can stack written books. So as you see, we have written books here. If the book has the same name and the same components on the inside and is signed with the same exact name, it can stack up to 16. The only negative with that is that the shop will have to be refilled more often. Now, if you're playing this game by yourself, it does not matter because you should never have to buy more than five cards per item. So there's 16 times nine in the dropper for the shop. So it's really not a big deal if you're playing by yourself. And if we do the math, 16 times nine is 144 per dropper. Divide that by five, which is 28.8 meaning 28 players can play and not empty the shop. I'm pretty sure if I did my math, right? But basically I did have to change the shop a little bit. I'll show that later if I do end up living. For example, Schmidt, it says that it's an ethereal and a permanent and it's one per deck, which I really like. So it's really clear on what it is. And then when you open it, why do I have a stability? I, there you go. <laughs> when you open it, it says gives two pork chops at the beginning of the trial. And then it says it's an ethereal, which then explains what ethereal is. A card is destroyed after played. And then it says permanent card is immediately played. And every permanent and ethereal card, it has that in there just in case. So you are never confused. That's the point of it. So we're going to go ahead and make a super simple deck. All right. So we are going to go with four cards. Um, so when we start, we have to look at the cards and see that it says four obviously. Now the difference between my card counter and Tango's card counter, it will not count stumbles at all. It completely cuts out stumble from the equation. With the stumbles and whatnot, it is it is a little inaccurate with how many cards you actually have left because it's hard to tell. So I kind of wanted to cut stumble out so you could have an exact count of how many cards that are useful that you have left. Stability blocks two hazard. So I'm going with all the basic cards for the first one. Uh, blocks to clank plus four treasure and uh, speed is the only really confusing one. I could have gone brilliance, but 
basically I really just wanted the reshuffle shown and there is a hundred percent chance that something is not going to work because I did change so much I had to completely change filters um, because of the new cards some music discs have definitely changed in the dungeon I know that and then especially the big thing that's changed is the intro music so basically I was doing some testing to make sure that if you have 39 cards then Schmidt because Schmidt is the last permanent card here um, so if you have 39 cards and then Schmidt in your deck, I got to make sure that you get Schmidt when you f get to the end of the minecart. Um, so I was doing some testing there. So I had to add a music disc in here. This is where you notice that I'm going for a more creepy haunted house vibe. I mentioned that in the beginning um, of my series. But that is what I'm going for is a creepy haunted house. The lore, once you really dive into the lore and find secrets, you're going to find history on why this history is so creepy and dark and what is going on in this lab that just has gone to this dark, dark place. That's basically the vibe. Okay, let's start and hope that my deck, my, my game works. As I said, creepy. I gotta fix that. <laughs> I have not fixed that yet. I forgot about that. Please show four cards. Four cards. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, it's turning nighttime right now, actually. That's cool. All right, so we can go ahead and play. I'm really hoping that we hear a card and it, it works perfectly. I mean, the cards went through. Did I break something? All right, we're gonna call this run. I'm very happy that the card counter worked. Just curious, is there anything at the end here? Yeah, books. Which means maybe my filter wasn't working. Which was the first card that I think played. Um, as you see on the bottom, it says NBT5 tags. Uh, the one that was in my deck was NBT6 tags. So basically, I don't know how that happened, but I had to go completely cre recreate sneaks. And uh, this is becoming a bigger pain than I thought it would be. And we're going to really, really, really hope this works this time. Also, there's a different song every time. <laughs> really hoping we get cards, uh, card callouts this time. Oh, thank God. Okay. Two hazards should be going up. I'm going to wait until it happens. I told you it's a bit delayed. Yes. Two hazards. Oh, right. I changed the hazard block sound. So that's hazard block now. So it should be going down. Yes, yes, it is just delayed. It's just a delayed map. Um, sadly, I wish I could get it a little bit more on time, but there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Speed. Okay, so we should see where shuffle. And that was the last clank uh, hazard block, so that should be going down. And we should see two clank blocks going up. Yes. Four. That, I don't think is correct. <laughs> I don't remember now. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to check that. I'm not even looking at my compass. <laughs> I'm literally just watching the map. Right, but we used two cards. Stumbled. The cards are going down perfectly. Stumbled. Oh, uh, that's right. That is really to take off two clank block. That should take off two clank block. Ah, oh, crap. Did I break that? Did Stumble bypass my clank block? Oh, reshuffle. Oh, I forgot about that. See? Nice. We had three, three treasure. Good perfect that's everything i mean it's not perfect because it's not supposed to be three treasure but we're just gonna wait here we're gonna let cards play <laughs> treasure, hunter. treasure hunter is giving three it's supposed to be giving four but this is what i was saying why i wanted the map because if my map is giving the correct readings um then that means my cards are wrong and I gotta do some updating on the red stony wony. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my leave. Either treasure hunter is messed up or something else. Also, this is the new shop. So yeah, basically I had to, since you can't read the what the thing is anymore, I had to put the book up here so basically you can read it. So yeah, treasure hunters plus four treasure. It only gave three. Oh, right. I completely forgot that I added this. I added a reroll to the shop, which I think is a really interesting idea. Also, why did my shop not work? Yeah. 
This is what happens when you play a bunch of things with a bunch of things and then it breaks. Hold on. All right, well, this is the perfect chance to show it off um, since my thing broke. I just went over and uh, freaking fixed the stupid redstone. I don't know why that would not have gone off. Uh, so it's six gold to refresh. I was thinking six or eight. Six is fine though, I think. Plays a cool little sound and we should be getting stuff back. Well, it, what it would have done is it would have taken out the lamps and then refreshed them. Um, if you have bought a card, it does not refresh you buying a card. So you cannot buy two cards with this system. I thought that was neat. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. I can only buy, we're going to buy a uh, clarity. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do some testing off screen because this is going to take a lot of testing, a lot of making sure each card is working. I don't think I'm going to get everything I wanted to get done this episode. Oh. We'll see. Let me know what you think about the sounds and stuff, by the way. I think that is a lot better of hazard blocked. And I also changed clank block a little bit. Um, so it is not as ear piercing. I just basically lowered the tone a bit and quieted it down. And hazard block, I think, is a million times better instead of that really annoying screeching sound. I don't know why I ever decided to even use that, but it is what it is. Also, the intro music, it's a bit spooky vibe. -y. When you know the lore, it makes more sense why i chose that <laughs> without knowing it's just a little bit creepy for no reason but i like it all right time to test all right everyone after probably what feels like a year of debugging i have come back with everything fully functioning i debugged every card so every card should be working perfectly I went ahead and fixed some systems that were not working correctly and you'd be surprised there were a lot of bugs that I would have just never noticed if I didn't have the map. So I'm really glad I decided to just get the map out of the way. <laughs> I completely forgot that I needed to grab, make holes for the beacons so the beacons just weren't working. Um, you can't even tell where they are on the map which is amazing where is all three? Oh, one one of them is very hidden i'll give a twenty dollars if you can find the third spot that the beacon is on the map <laughs> i highly doubt anybody will be able to see it so yeah everything is working let me show you some things that i changed uh this will be really quick. So Treasure Hunter wasn't actually broken. Treasure Hunter was giving four treasure. But the problem was um, it was going too fast for this system to work. So I just had to add a little dropper system to slow it down a little bit. I did a card, which I think is Swagger, which is plus 14 treasure. And they all worked fine. So that is fixed. I did that for all of the main really fast systems. Um, the slow systems I skipped out because I didn't want to waste my time. I, there's so many little minute things I've changed. This line was a big pain in the butt. So this line was powering this, which is not good. We're not supposed to do that. This line was also powering this. I had to change this. Um, this line was causing a lot of problems, but it was fixed now. Uh, stumble. I figured out why Stumble wasn't uh, getting reshuffled, and that is because I stupidly, I don't know where sh Stumble's here, I stupidly put a barrel here instead of a dropper, so the barrel makes it so it doesn't drop, but I don't know why I did that. The Stumble is supposed to come down and come here, so since, since I built this system, there has been a barrel there for Stumble that has just not been refreshing into the system. It's fixed now, but I don't know why I did that. Another thing that was broken, um, there was used to be a block here with a redstone on top of it to connect the lines. Obviously, you don't need to connect them because it doesn't really matter. But that one block of redstone was permanently powering the sticky piston, meaning stumble has not worked once since I built this system. Not once. And I would have never figured that out without the map. So thank you, map. So hopefully Clank feels a little bit better. I can't believe stumble wasn't working at all. This entire time, that hurts a little bit. All right, enough explaining. I've done probably a lot more. I'm going to bring in these cards, but I also want to bring in some other ones that are a little bit more interesting. Okay, repairs is interesting. We'll try repairs. Let's try rush. Silence, one of my favorite cards. And loot and scoot. All right, so we're going to put these in. So repairs, block seven hazard, and adds one clank, which is a negative. I want to make that clear. Rush is plus one treasure for each heartbeat in the next 20 seconds, which can be very strong. And it's plus one hazard, negative again. 
And uh, silence is block eight clink, block two hazard skips the next card, which I, I want to play with that. And loot and scoot is plus seven treasure, gives 15 seconds of run speed. Oh, I should have put Schmeet in my deck. I love Schmeet. That's okay. All right, I forgot how many cards I actually put up. I can't believe that hazard's already gone. Speed. Okay. That should give two clank, block, sprint burst, and shuffle. Yep. Oh, hello. Perfect. Look at that. See, it worked this time, guys. I seriously can't wait till I start adding level two to this game. Because right now, I'm getting to the point where I'm getting bored Stop. of level one. Okay. Let's see if it works. It should take out both of Clink Block. Yep. And Stumble got reshuffled. That is terrible news. Terrible, terrible news. <laughs> yep. Both Clink Blocks are gone. Where are we going? Looks like we're going upstairs. Stability. All right, that'll, that'll help, actually, because right now my hazard is going nuts. I feel like that shouldn't have gone off. Maybe I'm wrong. Why are we getting clank blocks still? Oh, I probably didn't refresh that. Because I was doing so much testing, I had about a million clank block added up. So, in other words, I think we're going to have like 30, 34 clank block added up. That's the one thing I didn't check. Also, all of the Easter egg stuff is done in this world, uh, in this level, which is super exciting. Am I going to show you any of it? No. No. Maybe I'll show you one. Maybe I'll show you one next game. Okay, how about that? Or maybe I'll show you the book. Holy. You are not supposed to be up there. And you look very stuck, but you gave me a heart attack, my boy. Stumble. I'm getting unlucky with the stumbles right now. I'm too good. I'm too good. I probably should start making my way out. Freaking stumble has been destroying my butt cheeks today. Basically, all the cards that were played today, uh, this time, were freaking stumbles. So, also, I talked about um, that the shop should not run out for you if you're playing my game. The only ones that can is Schmeet and Clarity or any future ethereal cards that get added. Here, we got our deck back. What did I have in my deck? This doesn't look right. I'm missing a lot. All right, guys. So, I just figured out something very important. So, I was been so confused with this book thing. This book thing is really messing with my head. So, second win, if you look at the bottom, it says NBT5 tags. Everything should be the same, but if that changes to six tags, it will not stack anymore, meaning the filters will do nothing, which is exactly why we got four stumbles in a row last game, because it skipped five of my cards. But basically what I figured out is if you open the book, close the book, now it says NBT6 tags, meaning that some books I have not opened because I just copied them and shoved them in a shulker box, and then there's some that I did open. So meaning that I'm going to have to go through and open every stack of books I have. I think it's stackable. If I could just check... Yeah, so I have to go through and open every book that says five tags or else it will not, I'll, I'll keep having this stacking problem. So I'm going to have to be right back. That took forever, but it is all, every book is opened. Luckily, I could open stacks at a time if I couldn't. Oh my God, I would have lost my mind. This time, let's make an actually accurate deck that should work perfectly this time since everything is NVT6 tags and I cannot go back down. So we got stability still, speed still, treasure hunter sneak still. Those still work. Um, silence, we got back. A nice nine card deck. Let's remember that nine card deck right let's get into the game we got our nine cards and this time this time it should work perfectly let the creepy music start yes we got my meat i got my pork chops that's all i care about we have too many cards oh i don't think my cards reset fully from last game because i didn't get all my cards back I didn't even check that. Treasure Hunter, we got four treasure. Um, so I think that's what happened. Um, I gotta make sure to go reset that after this game. Silence. Silence is, uh, which one's silence? I think it's eight. We did trip a shrieker there. We got some hazard black again. Stumble. 
Fair enough. That should take away two clank block. Please don't. Oh, you piece of donkey. Stumble. Two stumbles in a row? You hate me, game. Come on, give me one more coin. Oh! There's a key there, though. There it is. Yeah, you're still stuck. Oh, right. I was going to show you guys an Easter egg. Which one should I show you? Or maybe I'll show you the book. So here, if you didn't notice, there's a new book of riddles. Basically, there's a bunch of mini puzzles in this level. Um, and you can figure out clues to the mini puddles, puzzles in the uh, in this book. So, for example, we got... Uh, and I tried to make them rhyme. Three golden pressure plates with dirt, of course. Press all three and the sunken treasure will appear with force. Um, and then, for example, we got kitchens to cook meat of all kinds. Find the button to receive the worst meat of all time. Throw the meat into the oven and the treasure will be summoned. Or we got... Deep below lies a place with bad smell. Lies a group of minecarts ready to propel. Press the buttons to make them move. Find the right spots and the door will approve. Oh, I love that one. But yeah. So that's basically a cool little book of riddles. Um... I was not paying attention at all to the cards, so I'm very interested while editing this how that's going. <laughs> um, let's go in and get out. Stumble. Because now we're all just getting stumbles. Pork chop power is so strong. People, you gotta use pork chop power if you wanna go deep in the dungeon. Because I only used one pork chop that entire run. What did we get? We only got one. That's bad luck. That's not a glitch. That is just genuinely bad luck. Right, there's no point of re-rolling because we, if we, we won't have enough gold to even get anything over here. So we'll just go ahead and come over here. And I'm thinking we'll go ahead and get a sneak with a Schmeet. This is how I'm going to play. I'm going to work around Schmeet. I love Schmeet too much. All right, so I'm going to go fix some stuff. And I'll be right back. All right, things have been fixed. Let's go ahead and check in here. I haven't checked in here at all. Uh, Treasure hunt. We had nine, right? With Schmeet. We had nine with Schmeet. I'm going to go ahead and empty this freaking barrel so I can see if things are actually working. All right. We're going to play one more game. You know what? Let's actually swap out some cards for some better cards. So let's get rid of the three basic cards. So that is 10 cards. We got Swagger, Schmeet. I didn't even read Swagger. Swagger is add 14 treasure and two stumbles to the deck. That is the best treasure card in the game at the moment. Uh, Schmeet, we know what that is. Brilliance adds three uh, shuffles, reshuffles to the deck, and we all know what evasion does. So we should have a perfect 10 card amount on the map. Uh, let's go ahead and get in there and uh, pray everything works. It's going to be very interesting. Things are going to be re-rolling because of brilliance and speed. I'm so happy because the, the game is so much more interesting when cards get involved. Uh, without cards, it's just um, running around a dungeon, really. All right, so we should have 10 cards here. We got a Schmeet. Perfect. 10 cards and hitting three streakers this is a terrible time for rush oh rush got recycled though okay or reshuffled you're there great okay that's hazard block all over the place now i think that's also plus one clink so we got to be a little bit careful going forward so we have two ravagers stuck right now that's always good Rush just got that was that was my reshuffled rush. That's so fun. Oh, hello. My thing is in this room. Oh, that's really not good. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to actually pay attention here. Swagger. Swagger. There's plus fourteen treasure. No. Why am I in easy again? I swear my server is changing my difficulty for no reason oh all right i'm gonna have to change that again that honestly probably should have been death right there dude the amount of treasure i'm getting right now <laughs> oh, i wanted to do a heavy treasure run because i want to see how crazy you can get dude there's so much treasure with loot and screw and then with swagger, then loot and squid. Imagine if swagger got reshuffled. That'd be nuts. That'd have been nuts. Oh, I hit a lot of shriekers there. Can I have a silence? Oh. Oh, I might want to start making my way to the exit. This guy's right here, though. Oh, I just hit another one. Uh oh. 
I didn't get much clink block this game. It was mostly just freaking treasure and hazard block. Okay, we're gonna take our very sweet time here. Silence. Oh, that'll help. That'll help. Whew. What a freaking round. We have nine total gold with the coins, five keys, which is totally unnecessary. Oh, that's so fun. I do need to add a max treasure system just like Tango has because right now you can run three swaggers. I might have to change that to one swagger because that is a nuts amount of gold. 25 gold. That is allowing up to loot and scoot. Even though that looked like an absolute nuts run, we can actually only buy up to there. Meaning that if I got three more gold, I could have gotten the highest rarity card. That was freaking fun dude oh that was so much fun all right everyone thank you so much for watching i'm going to stop it there for today although i did not get everything i really wanted to get done for this episode um the map was a bigger beast than i thought it was going to be i got the map done and every card fully working and all debugged and everything is perfect right now meeting next episode we have to start building level two which is so exciting trust me that is going to be a lot of work and a lot of resources when i say level two is a lot bigger than level one i mean it but i'm so excited because i'm I, as i said before i'm getting a little bored of level one because i'm just too good I don't know how else to say it. Like, I am just running through level one. Like, it's absolutely nothing. I'm barely even paying attention. Doesn't help that two Ravagers are stuck right now. Um, but once level two gets added, the entire game changes. Um, having to look for keys, having to adapt, and level two is a lot more interesting it's got different mobs that like for example willy and there's also a new mob that's going to be added into the dungeon in a section which is going to be very interesting i have no clue how it's going to turn out but um basically one area i couldn't get ravagers up because they get stuck all the time so i had to put a different mob in that area i chose an interesting mob and i'm very curious on how well it's going to work or if they're even going to cause a threat but anyways that is going to be it for me today. I took longer on this video than I thought. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and get hard working on gathering resources for building level two. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Okay, peace.